jumping is a standard command in most platform games. This tutorial will show you a simple way to make a sprite jump when the space key is pressed. Start by opening the control palette. Jumping is a motion with two parts, going up and coming back down. So, drag two repeat loops into your workspace and connect them. Then, switch to the motion palette. Drop a change Y block into each loop. Since the first part of jumping is moving up, set the first change Y block to positive 5. Then program the downward movement by setting the second change Y block to negative 5. When you test this, you'll see that your sprite performs a simple jump. You can make the jump more realistic by adding a short hang time between the two parts of the jump. To do this, switch back to the control palette, drop a weight block between the two repeat loops, and set it to one-tenth of a second. Now that the movement is complete, it's time to program the interaction. The simplest way to do this is to use the when key pressed trigger, like this. The problem is that when other scripts are running, your sprite may not react as quickly as it needs to. Here's how to make the sprite more responsive. Get rid of the key pressed trigger, pull an if block into your workspace, switch to the sensing palette, find the key pressed block, and drop it into the diamond shaped slot on the if block. Now drag the movement part of your script into the lower portion of the if block. Test this by holding the space key down and clicking on the top of the script. Once you've got that working, you need to make the script constantly check to see if the space key is pressed. Switch back to the control palette, wrap a forever block around the entire script, connect a green flag trigger to the top of it, and click on the green flag to test your script.